This is Sarah. I am a kinetic artist and illustrator from Las Vegas, and today I'm introducing you to my two-year-old child, Noodle Feet. Noodle is different than most robots in that he began his life as a drawing, from a webcomic I illustrate called Gravity Road. Because of this, I had to design Noodle's form to appear the way he does in my illustrations. In the universe of my comic, Noodle is depicted as a small, four-legged robot that curiously wanders through its surroundings while interfacing with the objects it encounters using its stocky, white appendages. When I started building Noodle Feet in real life, my first task was to design a mechanism that was capable of moving its legs in such a way that it could walk. Using a pulley-like tendon, each of Noodle's legs can lift its foot up and down with the help of a motor. Additionally, Noodle's pelvis is a gearbox complete with bearings, which help each of Noodle's legs rotate smoothly from the hip socket. With each leg capable of a lifting and twisting motion, Noodle can take steps. The first version of Noodle's body was made entirely of 3D printed plastic, which wasn't that great for walking. So I've slowly been using shop equipment to recreate his parts one by one from aluminum. The metal bones are solid, precise, and have made Noodle a sturdy beast. All of his motion is driven by a master circuit board, which I designed in Eagle CAD to look like a brain made out of twisted ramen noodles. The board was fabricated professionally at a board house, which I then soldered all the tiny components to myself. But I depict Noodle as doing so much more than just wandering through his environment and posing. In my comics, I've drawn Noodle curiously interfacing with objects he finds and collecting things off the ground. How do I engineer behaviors? If I depict Noodle doing something, I'd meditate on how to create a mechanism that could execute that function. I would draw technical sketches of what the mechanism might look like. The concept sketches would influence the general layout and visual aesthetic of the assembly I'd ultimately create in CAD. Once modeled virtually, I would begin the process of 3D printing all of the parts I had designed so that they might be assembled and tested as a physical object. And sometimes this takes many tweaks and revisions to the design. But eventually, through an iterative process of trial and error, I end up with a functioning assembly like these. This year I've created several new flavors of mechanical feet that do exotic things, like grip, lick, taste, collect, implant, and tweet. First of all, Noodle has a tasting foot. This contains something like a cassette player which feeds a roll of litmus paper down through a track, where a small section is held parallel to the ground. After a solenoid presses the paper to make contact with a surface, it is fed back up into the foot where a color sensor can read the outcome of the test and determine the quality of what's been sampled. I've created a bean planting foot that can grip the surface it stands on while a helical hopper rotates and dispenses a bean through the center of the foot into the area being held onto. I've designed a foot that can swallow and photograph things found on the ground. Once positioned over a small object, a mechanical throat lined with spongy cilia scoops the shape up into a dark cavity within the foot, where a camera photographs and tweets the image to Noodle's Twitter account. I've even created a licking and juicing appendage for Noodle, and this one's my favorite. This mechanism contains a salivary gland that is mechanically expressed in order to drool all over the ground through a brush-like silicone tongue. A microphone and speaker embedded within also help amplify the wet sound so that those with an earshot can hear Noodle announce the act of drooling. So Noodle is always getting new upgrades in the form of functioning feet that he can switch out like shoes. Which if you think about it is already how many robotic arms work. Instead of having different tool attachments, Noodle has behavioral augmentations. Noodle doesn't just live in my lab though, I like to take him out in public quite a bit. I do this to get people thinking about their relation to the technology that they encounter in everyday life. I'm hoping to encourage others to extend their empathy and their humanity to the objects we coexist with. Are they just tools or can they be more to us? By doing this, I'm also hoping to encourage other creators to invent robotic offspring of their own, because I would like to see more robot babies in the world. If you'd like to know more about Noodle Feet, you can check out any one of these videos to hear about how I made his tasting appendages.